All right, folks, so we have been issued a winter storm advisory. And so I'm heading out on a little bit of an adventure, which I know the word adventure oftentimes gets overused, but to me, adventure means anything where the outcome can be unknown. There could be successes or there could be failures. And with this winter storm advisor, they are calling for 48 inches of snow. So the success would be that uh, we get up to a camp, we get settled, and then we wake up tomorrow morning to a beautiful winter camp with four to eight inches of snow. But where the failures could be is that they could just be wrong and uh, we don't get any snow or that we get way more snow than I anticipated and then I find myself maybe stuck up there. So anyways, that's what's on the plan with the agenda for this video and uh, let's see what happens. All right guys, so how beautiful is this out here? Now for you guys following the channel, this is not a new location. This is a location that I've been to many times before, but it's the first time I've been here while uh, there's snow. And I'm really excited over the fact that there's already some snow up here. So that means we're already ahead of the game. My only concern would be now is if we actually get the full eight inches. Plus uh, we might find some struggles getting out with the old Ford. But uh, again, what a great place to spend my first snow camping trip of the season. And it's actually my first snow camping trip with the new Drifter trailer. So this is my first time in the snow with it. So I'm really excited about that. But anyhow, the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna get the Drifter trailer unhooked and kind of set up. And then we're gonna go take off in the truck because this was a last minute decision. So I don't got any firewood on the truck and I would like to have a nice big fire and sit out in the snow and overlook this river because that's going to be amazing. Time won't stop so gonna get on the ride twisting and turning through life no matter how rough it gets I'll get by home moves with me where I roam it's in every dream I make my own Never alone. I know that every day will always bring me something new. Every day will bring me something new. All right, so we just got the trailer kind of set basic. Uh, like I said, we just got the awning out. I'll get the rest of the stuff out when I get back. But um, it's already getting a little bit late in the afternoon and we are getting dark by about 4.30. So I want to take the opportunity to go out and get some uh, wood cut before, uh, before we get uh, too late. All right, so I'm just driving down this dirt road. Um, it's one I'm fairly familiar with. A lot of times trees fall along it. So there's just a lot of deadfall. Uh, what I'm hoping is I'm just gonna run it real quick and see if anything has fallen recently or looks like it's fallen across it recently. Uh, that would be probably a bit on the drier side versus something that's already been down. All right guys, so here is a tree that's down. I don't know that it just came down, but I do like the fact that it's not just laying on the ground. So it should be good. It does have some snow on it, but um, I think it's going to be my best option at this point. It's already three o'clock, um, and so at, you know, as it is, I only got about an hour and a half to get enough wood for tonight and tomorrow, and get back to camp and finish getting things kind of set up for tonight. So I'm going to get on the stick, and uh, we'll start cutting on this thing.
All right, guys, so we've got everything all cut and stacked on top of the Diamondback cover. Uh, I just left everything long. It just makes it a little bit easier for me to transport. The back of the truck is pretty full, so I would be l very limited if I cut it into small lengths and threw it in the back. Uh, so this way it allows me to take quite a bit more wood, and uh, that way I should have enough for tonight and tomorrow. Uh, but the Diamondback also just makes it very easy for me to do it this way because it's got the cleats and everything, and the Diamondback's rated for like 3,500 pounds. So I have no concerns throwing up all this wood on top and driving around with it. Now that we got this done, again, you know, we're, we're running out of light. It's starting to snow a little bit, which is fantastic. And uh, I want to get back to camp and get a fire started. So let's, uh, let's do that. guys well I think we're finally situated for the evening gear is all uh, situated we got a fire made the Pendleton is poured I'm feeling that my stomach is growling just a little bit and if the night is not a stew night I wouldn't know what would be a good stew night so I've got a big old can of Denty Moore and I think I'm gonna hearty it up just a little bit with uh, a pound of bear breakfast sausage and uh, that sounds just about right. tell you what that dinner was just on point we'll just top off our Pendleton here just a little bit but man big hearty stew on a cold wintry night you just can't ask for better and then you got nice fire flowing river out in front I really love winter camping I mean to me this is the time to be out camping you know, a lot of people consider summertime the time to go camping, but summer is not, you know, to me at least, it's not that great. You know, you have bugs are bad, it's hot. A lot of times you're dealing with burn bands and you can't have campfires. Um, I mean, it, it's not horrible by any means. I still enjoy get, being out, but you know, when you can come out like this and have a nice warm fire in front of you, some gently falling snow. I mean, to me, that's a no-brainer. That, uh, as far as being, you know, a really great time to be out camping. I'd be curious to know what your guys is. Um, I'd definitely be curious to know what your guys' favorite season for camping is. Um, you know, leave those down in the comments. But yeah, for me, fall followed by winter is definitely my favorite. I think I'm gonna. For the rest of the night, I'm gonna enjoy this glass of Pendleton. I'm going to let this fire kind of burn in front of me a little bit, enjoy the river, and then I'm going to join the dogs in a very nice, cozy, warm drifter trailer uh, because I've got the uh, Mr. Buddy heater running in there, so it's just, uh, yeah, super cozy, nice. They're already crashed out in there. And uh, hopefully tomorrow, I'll wake up to a new fresh layer of snow and it'll be perfect.
boy, I tell you what, guys, we are enjoying a beautiful winter camping scene this morning. Uh, rivers just outside flowing. We've got the snow, looks absolutely beautiful. We didn't get hardly any more, just a tiny skiff overnight. And it's just been kind of flurrying on and off this morning, but nothing crazy. But it's still just absolutely gorgeous. Just a beautiful, beautiful winter camping scene. Um, though I have to say, you know, because I live in my trailer, technically I'm not camping. This is just where I live today. And the view from my house is amazing. So uh, a lot of people give me some uh, flack that say that because of the trailer that I'm not camping. Oh, that's not camping. But... And you're right, I'm not camping. I live in the trailer. And so today, this is just, this is just where I live. And it's fantastic. So, but we're being a little bit lazy. Um, today, we're just sitting inside, enjoying the view from the warmth and comfort of my drifter trailer. I've got the Mr. Buddy heater running and the dogs are just laying here beside me and we just made our coffee from inside the trailer, which is often what I do when it's cold outside. I've got it set up with a single burner stove out here on the fender. And then before I go to bed at night, I just make sure to get my um, French press all ready with some coffee in it. And then I take my bush pot and I put it uh, inside here with full of water. That way I don't have to worry about it freezing outside. And then in the morning, it's just a matter of cracking the door, reaching out, lighting the stove, putting my bush pot on it. And, um, and when it starts boiling, I just bring it back in. I pour the water inside my uh, French press and then push the plunger down, pour myself a hot cup of coffee and uh, just enjoy the, like I said, just enjoy the comfort of the comfort and warmth of the drifter trailer from that point. And then, you know, get dressed eventually and go outside. But as I did this morning, uh, it's just been, like I said, it's just been really nice because I've got this really beautiful view outside and it's warm and it's comfortable and I've just really, really appreciate these times. All right, well, we're finally up out of the uh, trailer. We've got our fire going down below. I'm getting ready to make some breakfast, but I've had to put the dogs to work so that that way I can get the scottle cleaned up. Uh, they do a good job of cleaning it all up for me. And uh, once they're done there, I think I'll just throw a couple sausages on and get those cooking. But yeah, it's still a really nice morning. Uh, just a little bit of snow flurries, not too much, but yeah, get the dogs finished up with that scottle and breakfast time. something there go easy good girl is that good folks so we are all packed up and heading down the road and I don't think it's none too soon so uh, the snow really started to drop it pretty much just flurry, flurried most of the day and it's two o'clock in the afternoon now but it is really coming down as we are heading out of here and uh, really starting to kind of stick and accumulate whereas all day it kind of flurried but it didn't really seem like it was accumulating but all in all, good winter camping, good snow camping. Uh, still enjoyed it, beautiful, great time to be out. Nice little uh, ex uh, extra excursion. It was a kind of an unplanned trip because I was just on my way down to my folks for Thanksgiving and uh, just thought, well, let's just take an extra, extra little night and go out and see if we can enjoy some snow camping. And it really, uh, it really turned out nice. So. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a like. If you guys got any comments or questions, you can leave those down below. 
and we'll catch you guys again outside. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small we can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We're meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free